Good evening, everyone. Um, I know it's late. Um, that is not because I'm still testing uh, different times in which to appear. It's because um, life or work, basically, work in combination with NaNoWriMo has gotten so crazy that I almost forgot. Uh, but I'm here. I'm not really sure what I want to talk about. I have a few things I want to talk about. Um, I'm pretty confident it won't be coherent at all, so bear with me. Um, but I was thinking about I was thinking about talking about balance a little bit because um, I'm not really balanced right now. Um, nothing, nothing to worry about. This is um, so where I teach at my local university. We have well, we we have two semesters, but every semester is divided in two again. So we have four blocks of courses. So last week, um, the course, like the first, the first block ended. So I'm like drowning in things that I need to grade. Um, but this week, the uh, second block started. So I'm also caught up in uh, preparing the syllabus, um, um, all kind of like lots of bureaucracy. Um, and also needing to figure out this is a course that I haven't taught in the last three years um, and a lot of change so I need I need to read a lot of stuff a lot of new articles um, it's about racism so there's a lot of um, well that changes a lot like things are happening um, uh, so we need like so in the course needs to be updated so I need to read a lot of stuff um, it's not something that I'm I mean, of course, like I'm aware of what's happening in the world, but um, theoretically, I need to be aware of the new trends and tendencies. Um, so I've been I've been working on that while doing NaNoWriMo, while trying to grade all the papers that I have from the last blog um, in time, uh, which I'm probably not going to do. Oh, I mean, I'm going to try. I'll fail probably for the first time ever. So I'm also going to. I'm trying to be okay with that. Uh, so why I want to talk about balance is because for me, when I'm like this, like when I have all these things to do, because it's not just that I don't just, of course, as you know, I don't just have the university. Um, I also have uh, my own company. Um, and this week, a lot of new things are starting. So I meet, this is the week that I meet uh, some of the uh, participants in my writing program for the first time. Um, so they're starting this week. I have another coaching client uh, who's starting this week. Uh, so not she's not in the program, uh, but she just wants a one-on-one -on -one, um, coach, coaching session. So I do that. I have some other projects that I'm working on. Uh, but you know, I'm busy and I usually can really deal with that well, um, uh, but not apparently. And I know this actually, because I, I was going to say apparently not today um, or not not this weekend not this week but this is a usual thing like this this particular week um, I've been teaching for the past nine years this week is um, straight from hell and it's actually it coincides with um, NaNoWriMo's hell week which is funny um, but also a little tragic <laughs> for me personally um, so actually I didn't want to go live because I didn't want to talk like I, I wasn't sure what to talk about because yesterday I had kind of I had a few topics but I knew I had to investigate a little bit sit with it um, you know do the work and I just like half an hour ago I was like I didn't do my life I didn't do the life I did I need to do the life uh, because this is something that I promised to myself that I would be doing um, and I want to be like I want to show up for it like I want to like show show how it's done so here I am um, and the funny thing is, uh, as I said, this is not going to be coherent at all. So bear with me uh, if you're if you're still if you're still with me. Um, uh, don't feel bad about <laughs> dropping uh, dropping this video. Um, is that one of the things that I do is self care? Um, like, and I'm sure, like if you're in my um, accountable wordsmiths group, um, you've seen my my cards come up, and I'm, I'm like I like it's like a little hobby of mine. Like I do cards. Uh, so I talk, I'm talking oracle cards um, and uh, not like, you know, to send to my friends, which I should be doing actually. But uh, anyway, different topic uh, about communication and snail mail uh, being being still really fun. Um, so the prompt and I usually I'm, I'm trying to since I'm teaching in the mornings now, 
I'm trying to alter my morning ritual, which is usually I wake up, I meditate, um, then I do my cards for the day, and then I get to work. Um, but that takes too much time, um, since I have to be out of the house early. Like, I have to be at the university at 9, so I woke up at 6.15 this morning. Um, so I squeezed in five minutes of meditation, and that's it. So I almost forgot my cards. So I just did the prompt, and the prompt was... Um, so I, I'm doing, I, I do challenges that I follow on Instagram, really fun. Uh, so the prompt for today, uh, this, month's, this month's theme is about affirmation, um, which is good. Like this is a good month. Uh, it's very dreary and depressing outside at the moment. So it's, it's good to, to, um, to focus on, on, um, well, on some self-appreciation, self-love. Um, so the prompt for today was uh, like, draw, like uh, you, you, you had to draw a card in relation to... Um, or was it was it something about um, about strong about being strong? Like I, I just I just looked it up. I just I just drew the card. Completely forgot. But it was about um, that um, that you're stronger than you think you are. Uh, so so you had to draw a card like in, in relation to the area. So I drew this one. I'm not sure if it's gonna. I never know what the the mirror what it's mirroring or not. Yeah. So it's not really doing that. Maybe when I upload it. So it's it's the sovereignty card. Um, so it's funny because I was like, why should I even do a live? I didn't prepare anything. I have nothing to say. And the first, uh, so the card, this is the Sovereign Oracle deck. And it's, it's especially made for uh, creative entrepreneurs. Um, and it has like three phrases and you can just pick the ones that like speak the most to you at the time. So the first one is be the ruler of your domain. And I was like, that's so interesting because here I was thinking, I, I have nothing to say, but this is, this is, part like me showing you how difficult it is um to keep that balance um but also to be kind to yourself throughout it because in, in terms of kindness like i've been beating myself up over the past two days because i knew i had so much work to do but i'm also doing uh nano like my nano is going really well like i'm on track um i'm actually a little ahead of schedule uh, and one of the reasons, of course, that I wanted to be ahead of schedule is that I could have this day, like a day like today, and do do not write or just do like a simple, small 20-minute writing sprint and like add 350 words or something. But still, I was beating myself up because I wasn't prioritizing my writing. Um, so this is what I'm telling you right now. It's like I, I no, I'm not prioritizing my writing right now because today my focus had to be on teaching there were meetings i had um, a text to prepare like i had a text to read because i have a seminar to prepare and i had to grade like i had to grade a certain amount of papers so that i'll be done with them by the end of the week and i have to do this for the rest of the week um, which is not to say that i won't be writing as much this week because after like after wednesday things will slow down just a little bit um but yeah, I was gonna be like, I'm I'm failing here. This is such an epic fail. Uh, I I can't even like I tell my I, I tell my clients to be balanced. I cannot do it. I cannot even do it myself. I tell my clients to be kind to themselves. I cannot do that to myself. Like I'm not like I was really nasty. Uh, I was really nasty about it. Um, so yeah, be the ruler of your of your domain. Here I am, telling you that. Um, like, I was nasty about it, but then, so, earlier today I decided, okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna breathe. I've got my priorities straight, I need to finish that text, then I need to read, like, to grade five papers, and if I have time left, so if it's not, like, I wasn't gonna do, like, if it's, I don't care if it's 12 a.m., I do my sprint, no, I was like, if it's, if I have time left before I really, like, before I need to go to bed, um, I can do one sprint and then it's okay. So I did that and I will do the sprint. As soon as I finish this, I will do the sprint. Um, so I am, so I am doing it. So even though I was like, I, I beat myself up over it for a few days. In the end, I tell myself, no, don't, this is not the right way to go. It's not productive. It's not constructive. Um, take that's like prioritize, you know, be cool about it. This is just what it is. And remind yourself that I do have, like, I am ahead of schedule in NaNoWriMo. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. Oh, well, it's never the end of the world. Like, it's not the end of the world if you don't, uh, if you, if you don't get through NaNoWriMo, of course. Um, 
but I was really like, I, I never aimed to get through it. And I'm doing so well right now that actually now I see like, maybe I can do the 50k words for the first time. So I'm also getting really excited about that. So I had to like, you know, breathe, be cool, be kind. Whatever's going to happen today, just, you know, baby steps, go through it one by one. And the second phrase on the, on the, on the card is, um, and that's one I'm, that's really one I'm struggling with is wear your crown with pride. You've earned it. And I was like, how does that apply? And then I thought, well, this is me. I'm doing it. I'm doing the life, even though like this is completely improvised. I have nothing prepared, like literally nothing. Um, and I like, maybe you hate it. Could be, but I'm, I'm doing it. I'm here. I showed up. Um, but also with the kindness, uh, yes, I got stuck in an old pattern because I was frustrated and I want to do this and I wanted to uh, get my words in. And I and I the thing is, of course, I'm leaving the university job, so I'm also not enjoying it as much as I used to do. So I'm also beating myself off for that. It's like, oh, my God, like I really I don't want to do this anymore. This is why I want to quit. This is um, so that all like that all got stuck in my head. Um but I did it, like, I took that deep breath, I actually meditated, um, and I calmed down, and I just started doing it, and now I do have time to do the one sprint, and hopefully tomorrow night I will have time for another sprint, and then Wednesday night I'm gonna kick ass again, um, and get at least 2,000 words done, that's the, that's the plan, um, so I should wear my crown with pride, because I am, I am walking, I am walking to talk, uh, and I forget that. Uh, and I think a lot of us forget that because we're so focused on the things we're doing wrong. Um, and I'm not saying that my life is a smooth <laughs> smooth one. It's not a smooth ride. Um, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, I'm trying it. And sometimes I fail. Sometimes I stumble. But then I get up again and I try again. Um, all the while. Um, trying to cut myself some slack where I need it. So that's the, so that's what I wanted to say. Um, so of course this ties in with, with topics like balance, like I said, as I said, balance, self-care, um, and, and, and about being the ruler of my domain. This is like, we live, um, and especially if you're in this, uh, I don't know, actually, I'm not, this might be true for both traditional publishing and self-publishing, but I know I'm, I, I um, I know that at least for self-publishing, there is so much focus on pushing yourself, like going there, like you have to, you have to be prolific, you have to do this, you have to uh, have so much, so many words, they do it better, they can, like, well, of course they can quit their jobs because they wrote 60 books in the past year, um, and I always feel like I'm, I, I sometimes feel like I'm the opposite of, of of people of, of people who who are like that and that makes me very um that makes me careful about what i say um and especially when i talk about like okay you have to be nice to yourself you have to be kind to yourself you have to take care of yourself um i'm always talking about how your work should feed your soul uh, but yeah maybe i should become the ruler of my domain because this is this is what i do this is how this is the position I take within that debate. Um, and maybe it's time that I admit that to myself and just um, wear that crown and say, I mean, I know a lot of people do it this way, but this is my way. Uh, and one of my ways is by not going to push myself now to write 1,667 words, uh, but do one sprint. See, may maybe I just open my manuscript and I'll just stare at it for 20 minutes because my brain is too dead i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm gonna be cool about it and then once i find a little bit of peace back into my day i'll get back on i'll, I'll get back on track uh, and i'm not gonna be mean about it to myself that's what i wanted to share with you good night y'all i'm gonna do one like one little sprint and then i'm out of here i need my sleep okay.